Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, All Things Accounting. Today, what we're going to be examining is the job costing system, in particular, under-applied and over-applied overhead. So stay right there and we'll go through this together. So when there's uh, under and over applied overhead, basically that results in when uh, actual overhead cost is different from the overhead cost that is applied during uh, work in process. So let's go through a numerical example here. So let's say for example, because usually predetermined overhead rates are established before a period begins and it's based entirely on estimated data, we have this data here that we're gonna be working with at the beginning of the year and down here, it's what happens at the end of the year. We have the actual. So let's just say, for example, predetermined overhead rate is based on machine hours for ABC company. So we come up with an estimated amount of manufacturing overhead. Let's just say that that's going to be $30,000. We also estimate that the machine hours that we're going to be producing throughout the year is going to be uh, 75,000 hours. Now, the predetermined overhead rate, therefore, based upon the estimate, if we say that this is A and this is B, therefore, this will be A divided by B. So in this case, it will be 30,000, well, put 30K, divided by 75,000 hours. Now, that would give us, sorry, 300,000. This would be 300,000. And that's 75,000 hours. So $300,000 divided by 75,000 hours is going to be $4 per hour. Now, at the end of the year, what we're going to have is we're going to have the actual, uh, actual data and so that it comes in at its actual manufacturing overhead cost is 290,000. The actual machine hours uh, that we incurred is 68,000. So if we were to calculate whether or not there is an under or over apply, uh, applied uh, overhead, basically what we can do is we can take this uh, and multiply by the established rate of $4 per hour and that would give us 200, 272, 000, uh, uh, $732,000. Now, because we can compare this with the, uh, with the estimated manufacturing overhead here, the, we can see that we underapplied. We underapplied this by 18,000. If our work in process, what we uh, applied was more than the 290, then basically, uh, uh, sorry, the, if the actual manufacturing overhead is big, greater than the 290 here, then that means that we over applied. But in this case, it's less than that, so we under applied. If I were to put this in chart form, maybe this would help you uh, conceptualize, conceptualize this a bit better. So let's break this down into chart form uh, or a little more simplistically. So at the beginning, at the beginning of the year, we come up with estimates. So estimated total manufacturing overhead, estimated total manufacturing overhead, and we divide that by the estimated units in the allocation base. So remember in our example, it was based upon machine hours. And that gives us a predetermined rate.
So these are all estimates here. So that's at the beginning of the year. During the period, or during the year, basically here, the, if we take the predetermined overhead rate, so we take the predetermined rate, and we take that and multiply it by the actual total units uh, incurred. Take that, multiply by total actual units incurred. Basically, that would give us our total manufacturing overhead applied. Total manufacturing overhead applied. So that's during the period. Now, at the end of the period, here, we take the total, the actual total manufacturing cost, total actual manufacturing overhead cost. And if we s subtract from the total manufacturing overhead applied, total manufacturing overhead applied, well, what would that yield? Well, that ultimately depends on the number. If, if this is larger than that, then that would be under, under applied. If let's say that's A and B, if A is greater than B, then that would lead us to be under applied overhead. Otherwise, if, if A is less than B, then the converse is true. It would be over applied overhead. So I hope this little example helps to explain about over and under uh, applied overhead with, within the constraints of the job costing system. So I hope that this tutorial helps you to understand a bit about more about job costing systems and in, in particular over and under applied overhead. So if you found it to be useful, please uh, subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification icon so that you'll always be up to date on the new tutorials that I'll be holding and hit that like button as well. So until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.